Chesapeake Bank was formed in April 1900. It was the first national bank in the whole of Northern Neck, which was a big deal at the time. It was originally formed to support the watermen, those that were oystermen and, and fishermen on the water. At the turn of the century, what was to become Chesapeake Bank began as Lancaster National Bank with investments from local citizens. The bank's assets were modest and capitalization totaled $25,000, but from these modest beginnings came one of the bank's most enduring traditions, that the control and direction of the bank would always come from the people that live and work in our community. Over the years, the bank grew. Serving the watermen, farmers, and businessmen of the area, the bank continued to flourish in the same building until the afternoon of June 18, 1917, when the village of Irvington burned along with the Lancaster National Bank. After the fire, bank officers quickly improvised by setting up a little building across the street. Money and records were stored in a safe located in a tent. Meanwhile, a new building was under construction near the bank's original location. Soon, Lancaster National Bank had a new home. In 1968, to keep up with the greater demand for financial services, Lancaster National Bank merged with the Chesapeake Banking Company to become Chesapeake National Bank. That same year, to better serve the watermen who found it difficult to get to us, we opened the nation's first floating boat bank. It was the first bank that was required to have a licensed boat captain as its manager. Along the way in 1994, our name was changed to Chesapeake Bank, and by the end of 1999, bank assets totaled over $197 million. Throughout the century, we have continued to grow and evolve along with the area, never losing sight of our roots, serving the needs of our community with a unique combination of tradition and innovation.